China's retaliatory actions against that deployment are intensifying by the day, and now it seems like Korean food and cosmetics could be the next products caught in the crosshair. Beijing also moved to hit Seoul with a second ban on charter flights, which could seriously curb the country's tourism revenue. Wu jung takes a closer look. This is a Korean dumpling that's become popular in China with sales of almost 130 million U.S. dollars last year. Now, there's growing speculation that food products like this could be the next target for China's retaliatory actions against Seoul's deployment of the THAAD missile defense system. But experts say China won't be imposing tariffs. Instead, it'll impose stricter sanitation tests and stronger quarantine controls on food and cosmetics. That's because those items are more easily replaceable than things like smartphone or car components, whose absence would do greater harm to the Chinese economy. China's sanctions are likely to target goods that will have little impact on the Chinese economy. For example, consumer goods like food or cosmetics and services. Korea's cosmetics companies will also have to be prepared. The Korea Trade Investment Promotion Agency, or COTRA, has reported starting this month, Chinese companies that import cosmetics from other countries must register themselves with quality control authorities and report on specific product information. The Chinese authorities say the system is being implemented to strengthen safety controls and facilitate quick recalls of bad products. But there are concerns in Korea that it's an unofficial sanction on Korean cosmetics. In another sign of Beijing's discontent, Chinese authorities have once again banned Korean airlines from running charter flights from China to Korea. Only flights by Korean airlines were banned. This is the second such ban after Asiana Airlines, Jeju Air and Jin Air were banned from operating charter flights in January. An estimated 70,000 Chinese tourists were scheduled to fly to Korea on charter flights this year, but it's not yet known whether the flights will be allowed. The measure is expected to significantly curtail the number of Chinese tourists to Korea in combination with China's recent ban on sales of all Korea tour packages. The Chinese government's retaliatory actions against the THAAD deployment appear to be zeroing in on specific industries, from food and cosmetics to entertainment, travel and tourism, that will have a huge economic impact on Korea. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.